Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Hello. Can you tell me how to pronounce your name? Hi, I'm Mr. Yogesh. Um, okay. I'm, um, I'm working with Horizon Project um, with uh, Thomas Fosati. Yeah. Cool. All right. Wonderful. Welcome. So I should call you. It's Mr. Yogesh. Um, I just oh. I'm asking partly because I, I I know that some cultures put their names in different orders, and so that's why I partly I'm oh asking. yeah yeah the, the first name is the one we is seen in the email in the email so yeah okay that, that that's correct Yogesh thank you. Dave. Good morning. Do you know the Dave song? These are the Daves I know I know. Nope. No, really? Oh, okay. It's a uh, it's from uh, uh, a skit from the nineties called uh, 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 Kids in the Hall. Huh. Yeah. Uh, there's recently been a revival of the Dave song. <laughs> it goes, it goes, these are the Daves I know, I know, these are the Daves I know, and then he just lists them all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds like an Animaniac style or something. Oh, yeah, totally. Totally, exactly, yeah. I cleaned out the, I cleaned out, I have this bench for my TV that, because it's in the corner in a funny shape that I had to build years ago. And I, I cleaned it out about a month ago because there were like three dead console systems wired still into it that, you know, <laughs> okay. like, cause, because there's holes in the, like there's three, three shelves, three, four shelves open, uh -huh. and then there's holes between them. So you can put the cables through. Yeah, yeah, but it yeah. also means that you can, it's hard to get it out again because it's so nice. So you actually just disassemble the whole thing and the shelves actually just unstack. And um, and then I cleared it all out. But to do that, I actually had to remove all the accumulated VHS and DVD and blah, blah, blahs that were all piled up or behind it. Uh -huh. And um, and and lo and behold, there's my ant box set of Animaniacs of, uh, sorry, <laughs> Pinky and the Brain. Uh -huh. And what I discovered was that when you go into the menu in each DVD and it lists, you know, it'll list like three episodes that there's a button at the bottom called says more. And some of them have two more episodes that I had never bothered to actually. Click through. <laughs> uh, so you had to go on a pinky in the brain binge. Well, yeah, every Saturday morning you just put a DVD in and yeah, <laughs> that's eat cereal. Right. So there you go. Uh -huh. So there what are we going to do tonight, Michael? That's right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Try to finish the document. <laughs> Same thing we do every week. Dave. <laughs> there we go. All right. So we have Dave Baylor. Um, Andrew Gwynn. And we have Yogesh, Mr. Yogesh. He's from Verizon. Uh, joining us today. Apparently with, as did you say, Thomas Horjano or is it Fossati? I don't remember which one you said now as your colleague. It's Thomas Fossati. Fossati. Ah. Yeah. We have a two, we have two Thomases and uh, six. Horjano. I wonder if we'll see Ned. He's got something just before this that makes him late every week. Uh, okay, so um, where would you like to start? Full class. Um, I think this one is trivially closable. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, why? 
I'm gonna try to get two approvals. Yeah, uh, I can just leave it one. Yeah, I um, saw that. I, I think William had already approved it too. So yeah. Why is this work important? All right, we'll just go back to there again. Uh yeah. So I think that was no, that is not the right dot one. Let me try again. There we go. So I think we can agree. One word change. Yeah, I think uh, the history is the paragraph right above this got added later, and so that lost some of the context, and so this is restoring the original context. So. Hank, any objections? Mm -hmm. Sorry, hi, all. Uh, this is Hank. No, that's fine. I guess so, but it actually could have been false. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Okay. Hank, I just did this pull request. Can we make sure that one actually did the close? Did I use the ma your magic keyword that you taught me? Did it actually close the... Uh... Merge. No, no, yeah, it when it merge. closed the issue, when I said fixes or whatever, did it actually close the issue that's linked in the top, the 306? I just want to verify. Okay, yep. good. All right, cool. Just making sure I'm doing it right. Okay. Okay, so Hank suggested that we move this this paragraph up so that it's since it applies to all the examples, instead of having it in the middle of example one, that we move it up to above example one. Uh, so I changed the in above and subscription and just said in the figures below, curly braces in their containment. Is that what you wanted, Hank? Yep. I think that's fine. I had not reviewed this before, but what's on the screen looks good to me. I approve. Okay. Yeah, I just did it very quickly. Um, branch existed all of for a minute <laughs> um okay so uh now i don't know i was reviewing other ones and i and i uh didn't get to a specific one that i could tell was um, um i can't remember what's in 316 if that one might be easy i can't remember because that was one that i did shortly after the call last time Ah, the, okay. Yeah, so this is one other one. The what is a reliable clock? And you can see there, I changed the word reliable to trustworthy and added the paragraph up top. And so, because uh, the this came up, I think in the uh, so mm -hmm. if you go back to the issue, you'll see this is one of Brendan's issues. Um, just go back and read the issue briefly. But I th think this is straightforward. Okay. Um, he asked why local clocks are a problem since MCU and MCUs have them, and I answered saying that many TEEs do not have uh, uh, trusted clocks, and he suggested clarifying that. Um, and then, Michael, you asked, what do you mean by a trusted clock? Um, do you mean that they're synchronized? And I explained my answer there, and that's what led to the text here. Um, that a trusted clock from the TEE's perspective is one that the rich execution environment cannot tamper with, is the answer. So. Whether it's Fair synchronized enough. or not. All right, so that's where the text, that's what the thing come from. And then that leads to the little little paragraph up top, which is there. Do we need to make a distinction between an RTC and a TOD in this context? Sorry, what's the, you said TOD? I don't know. Time of day. So that you know a run or a runtime clock versus you know something that that the, the one that can 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 tick time while it's on you know while the device is on versus the one that doesn't. The, I hadn't heard it that, called called that, but I think the text does right now. It just calls those synchronized and not synchronized. But it, um, uh, I don't know if this document does, but often in other groups we call those absolute versus relative clocks. Okay. Yeah. The. the I mean, the, T O D is absolute and. Uh, and RTC you know, time, is not. Yeah, time since boot or time since other oh, epic, yeah, is is relative, but I don't remember we don't, if we use we, the terminology in here. Would you say synchronized or not synchronized? In okay. our need for freshness, Elliot, we never care about the time of day. We may care about the number of seconds since we made the measurement. So we really only care about having a trustworthy relative clock the, for the freshness. The, the timestamp sections refer to having a synchronized clock, right? Now, your synchronized yeah. clock could, in theory, be time of day. That would be the normal case, but maybe it's synchronized to something else. I can't imagine. <laughs> well, yeah, well, it, it might be, but 
um, you know, I don't know, Mars probe or something, right? So, so are time, yeah. Mm. Yeah, he's um, talking about how, how are times synchronized between spacecraft or you know uh, probes and things. I don't know. So anyway, we we don't we don't talk but, about the day. So we talk but, about synchronized but, clocks. But the relevance here was implicit timekeeping using nonces, and yes. in that case, we we, we care about uh, the being able to measure how long ago the evidence was taken, and that's all. Fair enough. Yeah, the, the, the there is this weird. There's there there's the potential for to do something with with some weird timestamp servers here. Yep, um, that is talked about in the synchronized clock security consideration section, which yeah. right, which you won't see here, but you'll see it in the document. But it's not touched in this text, so right. But I think it could be relevant there too, because anytime you have a synchronized, anytime you have synchronized clocks, mm. you can use relative, you can use them as relative clocks, right? Um, this is the section on using nonces, and yeah. so it just says you can use a nonce even when you don't have such a clock. Oh, all right. I'm sorry. My my, my apologies. Right. Does not have a trustworthy clock, right? And, and similarly, 1163 without requiring a yeah. Okay. Any objections to that text? So Elliot, feel free to uh, read through the different sections we're talking about. And if you have any suggestions or issues, you know, please follow them or whatever. But I think the questions that you're asking, my opinion is, they're already answered and covered in existing text elsewhere in the document. But okay. feel free to check. Okay, let's uh, let's jump to your uh, your contribution here, Elliot. Okay, I have not reviewed this one yet, so yeah, it's yeah. in the wrong place, but. Um... I, I, I it wound up in the abstract. the abstract and meant and meant to put it into oh. the, the introduction, and so oh, I didn't even notice that. Oops. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you like well, the text? So, so add a comment, just to capture that that uh, we don't want to merge it as is, even if we like it. So no, I, I, I have to. It. I have to do a. a, a I'll, I'll I'll go back to head for a little bit on that okay. and just remerge it in. But the the actually the abstract needs a slight touch up there too. Mm -hmm. Not a huge one, but a slight one, you know, just so that people know what we're talking about. Um, and the, the, the point of the text, though, the main point of the text, right, is to just give a couple, uh, is to zoom out a little bit to understand why we're here, right? Um, now, this is sort of just a start at that text. Uh, I was called out, um, I think, by Michael. You're saying, well, you're speaking in second person here. Um, and uh, you know that that might be uh, a, a little issue, um, and of course I'm asking questions, but the the idea is just to sort of warm up the the reader a little bit in terms of what it is we're talking about. Um, you may find these examples not well well fleshed out, but one of the things that you might want to think about then, and, and again this is not something that I would merge today, is how did we solve that problem at the end of the you know, if, if we go back to this at the end of the document, right? If you, or if you follow a couple of examples through at the end of the document, say, here's how we might have done this. So I think that so you're doing, Elliot, is you're setting us up for, um, here's the introduction of some problems at the high level. And that later on, if we had a conclusion, which I guess we often don't have in RFCs, then we could, we could refer back to it and say, we solved this problem with this and this and this. Well, the way you normally do that in in the IETF world, right, is you refer back through examples. Right, and the examples can be wherever you want them to be. Okay, so this is saying, uh, uh, first of all, uh, thank you, Elliot. I think you will provide us with a polished, rearranged version that probably yeah. gets rid of a uh, second person, and then we can have a, a, a thorough look at it again. Okay, but one of the things that everybody should think about is just a little bit about whether we can push through some examples that, that or follow through on these examples a little bit in terms of if, if you can, it helps people to follow the story, if you will. Yeah, so, so, so I think there's a little bit of overlap with the use cases section. I understand you're trying to give, you know, two or so examples of things that are fleshed out later on in the, in the use cases section. We don't have to flesh them out here because that's the point of the use cases section, I think. Exactly. And uh, I'm subscribed to notifications here, so I, I will get an email 
uh, when notification when Elliot uh, pushes things or cre uh, changes things. So uh, if not, no, not everybody is doing that, uh, Elliot, would be okay with uh, emitting a small email to okay look at this beforehand so we can have a, a target discussion next time and then everybody can hit the road button. Yeah. Yes, for me, since I'm not subscribed, that would be fine for me. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay, read the issue on this one first. Nice and short on the issue. Okay, so I, if you look at the paragraph in green at the top and the paragraph in the red green at the bottom, I was trying to give more symmetry between those two. You can see up on the top, the issue filed was the top one didn't say anything, and the bottom one had a nice long paragraph, and I tried to give equivalent treatment on both. And also, not it, the, the, the sentence about what it didn't do didn't make any sense to me, so it also didn't seem important. So I thought I, it was better to delete the sentence rather than copying the sentence. Comments? I think Hank filed it. So I'm yeah, yeah. So, it's, so some asymmetry due to the bulleted list that is just here and not. Uh, so so it's, both of them say this is implementation specific now, right? Yes. So uh, and and uh, and the reference value has this uh, uh, notion about uh, how you convey stuff, and the uh, policies do not. So again. Um. Why? I scroll up for just a second uh, so I can see the top of the context here. Appraisal policies, okay. Um, okay, that I can answer. Now, it's been a while since I did this one, um, but I think um, let me back up in history for just a second to answer your question without suggesting what to do about it. Um, if you remember right, we didn't have reference values originally, right? And so mm -hmm. there was some debate. Like some people had the view that reference values were part of the endorsements and other people had the view that reference values could have been part of the appraisal policies. And when we actually talked about reference values, we said that there's a different, couple different varieties that it could even be completely separate from that. And so that's when we split out reference values into its own section and had a role for it, right? And so um, the bullets down below is talking about the options of having reference values be combined with um, one of the other conceptual messages or not. That's the that's the last bullet there or not, right? Um, I don't think we've ever had a discussion that appraisal policies could be combined with anything else, and that's why the asymmetry is there. We didn't say that your appraisal policy could be uh, combined with, say, the endorsement, which I guess it could. I guess that's that's if you want me to add bullets, I could do that. Although um, it doesn't seem like to repeat the same point, like um, 387 is saying reference values and appraisal policies could be combined if 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 your if your uh, appraisal policy and reference values comes from the same entity. That's the first bullet. Um, it wouldn't make sense, in my opinion, to copy exactly that same text in both places. Just like mm -hmm. in the endorsement, we don't say, oh, and this could include reference values or whatever. Seem like seems like. Um, Another possibility is that three bullets and things could be moved if if you thought it was important. Uh, I I don't have a strong opinion either way. If you thought it was important, we can move it to the place that in the document that says some roles can be combined. And yeah, exactly. So, so exactly with, with combined roles, there might be combined conceptual messages. Attestation results might also yeah. include evidence. Uh, reference values and appraisal policies might come together. There was discussions where do ranges for compersion go? So, so if you have a range of of things like a number range or I don't know a range of choices, um, uh, how how is this a policy or is it a reference value? 
And and uh, I think uh, that so, uh, that was more about the discussion about whether or not we yeah. could use eat for that or not. Yeah. Also, uh, so there are right. a lot of uh, side domains here, uh, but but I think the concept of uh, comp composition of uh, conceptual messages could be uh, the same place where there's this uh, composition of roles. I think that's a very good uh, uh, answer to this ask here. And uh, yeah. Um, maybe, so, maybe we do, the... do, do we need to remove text for, further from mm -hmm. here or just mm -hmm. add text elsewhere? Did I lose you guys? Uh, I, I, I'm taking that as a question for Hank. I don't have an opinion, but uh, the, oh. place that I'm the place that I was referring to, you can't see in here, but it would be line uh, 822. Um, if you were to open up in a separate window, 822 is the roles and entities section, mm -hmm. which is the one that says uh, at the top, the first paragraph says, I'm just going to read it since it's not on the screen. An entity in the RATS architecture includes at least one of the roles defined in this document. An entity can aggregate more than one role into itself. These collapsed roles combine the duties of multiple roles. Um, that's the place that if we needed to add something or move something to is probably it's the roles and entities section. Uh, six. Six, I think also uh, that where the bow second. time diagram lives, there is some text that could also imply that already. Yeah, so you, first paragraph is the one that I was reading there. That's the only yeah. place that I can think of that would be their place to put it um, if we were to move the equivalent of the bullets or to add something. Yeah, and I would prefer moving. I think that was the question directed to me implicitly. Uh, yeah. I, I would think that I would like to have these uh, options, how to combine things potentially here, and that yeah. would, I hope, include that bullet uh, that list. Yeah, so the, I, the, I thought it was fine as is. So, so, so the action here that I'm hearing is either to go back to the issue and say, uh, please add something to section six as well, but then accept this commit because we're not changing anything here, or we want to go do both. We want to remove some text here, so we want to change this commit um, and add to the other part. So I, I wasn't, and it sounded like, Hank, you're not suggesting removing any of the bullets here in this section. That, that uh, was the question actually, Michael asked. I thought that was just I would actually, I would actually uh, uh, prefer moving these concepts of how things can be aggregated, generalize it, and put it into, uh, into the uh, roles and entities section. Okay. And uh, that would be my, uh, by, my proposal not doing the actual contribution. Gotcha. So then, uh, Michael, I, we might uh, keep the issue open, but yep. merge the pull request. Um, okay, so but, we are gonna we're gonna merge that one to also well, add to section <clears throat> six about roles about appraisal. Yeah, maybe not even add, but move to so that the. All right, just, so we're gonna just, move uh, to. Yeah. Yeah, it could just be as an example, right? Then we could put those three bullets as a for example there or something. Yeah, exactly. That, that, that is fine with me. We, we don't have to remove the content. I just found it uh, surprisingly yeah. specific there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to commit. The, I'm going to merge this. And then reopen the issue. And I'm going to reopen the issue. Uh, delete that branch. And then reopen issue. Okay, so and you great. can assign that one to me if it isn't already. I think it already was. Already assigned, yeah. Okay, yep, sounds good. Um, uh, actually, I guess I can, I can do it. I need to remove that label that says has pull request now that it's open for a different reason. I'll do it. Sure. Um, <clears throat> 24 minutes ago. Yeah, so there, really, just you added the word "replayed" and removed this paragraph. This paragraph, right? So uh, I think Hank, you filed this one saying you didn't even know what that sentence was supposed to be. The thirteen forty one. Um, I read through it twice, figured out what I think it was supposed, to, what it meant, decided that it was not adding a point that wasn't already uh, that wasn't uh, redundant with other text that was in here, and so I thought it was easier to remove it than to try to fix up the wording. Um, but uh, the only concept that I saw that was the replayed, and so I just added that to the list. I mean, the only concept that I saw that wasn't covered. So, yeah, very good. Thank you.
Hmm? I think what it, what this meant, right? Because I think this was yours, Thomas, right? The, the, the what this meant was the attacker might be somebody that receives the the handle normally, or it might not be. That's what it meant to be meant to be talking about, right? Yeah, I mean it's superfluous. You're right. Yeah, yeah. But, but the other text already implied that, so I think. Yeah, yeah exactly. But replayed is really is really a good catch. Um, is there? I guess I, I'm gonna. I have a question about about some of this that I I think I'll if we have a minute at the end I'm gonna ask, but I, I don't think it's relevant to rats, but rather to handles. Um, it just occurs to me I was thinking about something in the shower about uh, uh about another RFC where this might be applicable. <laughs> so, um, okay, so I'm gonna click the button here on this. Okay, and that one is now, uh, no, that's not the right one anyway. Uh, okay, reword description of, I, I don't think, think that one's been updated. updated. No. Not yet. Uh, and that one, I don't, we had a bunch of comments on 296 as well. I don't know that that one's been updated, okay. has it? Sorry, that one is still open. And this one, yeah, I haven't looked at this one. Yeah. I, I reviewed this one last week. I think it hasn't made the updates yet, if I remember right. So I didn't re-review it yet because it didn't look like it had been. The comments weren't good. Hank, is that, I think it's untouched since last week. It's untouched since last week. But unfortunately, last week when I looked at it, there wasn't, weren't so many comments. So I guess <laughs> that's, that's kind of my fault. Sorry, I, 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 I saw a barrage, but then again. Yeah, uh, and so. and there was there was some discussion somewhere about, I thought in email I saw about how often we were doing, we were translating this to this because in some cases it didn't apply. Like, hmm. uh the question was relating to the CCC or something because it might not be a rats. Yeah, it was like this. Okay. Like the question was, I thought we had a, a comment that, you know, Fido might not be doing rats right now and we shouldn't, there we go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That was the question. It's hard not to do it. <laughs> but uh, they, they, we, could, we could account for that. Yeah, that, that's I, I another good example. Yeah, this was the comment here from Lawrence. Um, so that was made after our meeting. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think that was worth was worth conversation about yeah. whether or not this is uh, this is really a change we want to make, or whether we want to re retain this uh, as a generic term, as opposed to this as a specific term, and whether we put the S in capital, I guess, in that case. Um, yeah, like I said in my comment, I kind of I hadn't thought about this before Lawrence's comment, and I kind of like Lawrence's distinction as uh, 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 having the different terminology. So I think I would support Lawrence's proposal here. So that is to reject this change. Yeah, there's a a corresponding change close to Fido for yeah, another like, thing. We we have to go through the entire document looking for the entire pull request. I mean, looking for all changes to see which ones to revert because you have to look at each one yeah. separately to say which is which cases and so that that is that is true in general i'd say that um these are the most prominent places where it's tied to solutions um <laughs> i have a distinct memory about uh, reading it only a few weeks ago but yes we should make sure and by we, we i mean some of you <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. So uh, the homework is that we need to come back through this list and um, do things. So some of these are probably pretty innocuous and should be just merged in. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should just figure that out now. Are there are there ones? Is there low? Is there things we should we should commit to the batch right now? Let me just go back through. We can, we can raise a new uh, issue on the uh, rats, expanded rats thing and make sure if it's not overloading some assumptions here. And uh, if there's no other problem with this PR at some point, then we can just merge it. Because I don't think there's so many contentious items in there. No, I don't think so either. It's just that we need to get, uh, like, I think that we need to, to do... Well why don't you just go through the comments right now and see if there's some that you can yeah. add to batch? And, that, that's what, I, that's what I was trying to do. Is just go through yeah. the the comments here. 
Okay, so we agree that we're going. I think we've already agreed that we're going to decline this suggestion. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I hit delete here. Uh, will that delete the comments? Okay, apparently. Uh, that's. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, because here it says remote attestation, and the comment was that we should change that to rats. Okay, now, uh, so my comment is technically resolved because that's what yeah. Lawrence's one answers that. And yeah. uh, the one that's in green is then correct according to Lawrence's distinction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm absolutely fine with that. That's uh, yeah. yeah. just okay. uh, so next format action at this time. Hang on, I think I have to hit reload. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Persistent. Is there an internal uh, bug tracker now for GitHub in Microsoft? Can you well, see that? People use GitHub issues? Huh? You don't think they use the, the, the GitHub issues to track bugs? Yeah, but a private one that only you can see, that you can see that we, the rest of us can't see is what oh, I Oh, I can't see it. Remember, GitHub is, is, is acts like a oh, wholly independent subsidiary. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, and you know, <clears throat> IPv6, anyway. Okay. Um, the only reason I have a NAT 6.4 running on my network is to talk to GitHub. Um, <laughs> so, okay, so I think this is fine. We can clarify yeah. pronouns. Is that the right word? Are those pronouns? Uh, no, they're articles. Articles, thank you. Maybe you should just add to patch and take it to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I hate it when it just says update blah 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 in the in the commit log, though, which is what you wind up when you don't know what the hell you did afterwards. Um, subsequently, consecutively, fix wording. All right, add suggestion to batch. Ah. Uh, that's part of the remote remote uh, mm -hmm. attestation. The, the, the top one is uh, like a 370. Yeah, so you can see such as appraisal policies yeah. are configured yeah. in the relying party. So there's only one relying party here, but it's appraisal policies, plural, and I think appraisal Policy is what I was arguing for in three places here. Oh, three places. Yeah, I brought this up as a problem. I, I was yeah. overzealous and at some point realized, oh, this plural thing with policy doesn't yeah. really work. Yeah. And okay. so, yes, so thank it's you this ahead. one too. Three sixty four and three seventy eight. No, no, no. Three sixty four. Uh, well, actually, maybe that one too. I don't know. I you think you're right, Michael. The three sixty nine should be. Uh, a, Appraisal policy. policy. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're going to conf. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh, no, um, yeah. Uh, and then, uh, well, the problem is now the word R has to be is, and then you need a the at the beginning. Yeah. No, it's okay. Yeah, that's the only thing I realized. I changed my mind uh, uh, basically yeah. when I was half through. So I was like, no, yeah, but we still got to hit uh, 364 and 378 after you're done with this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You said 364, but. That's a blank line, or do you mean? It's not. Keep going up. Or, oh, this one. Oh, oh, but I already. I okay. Well, I put this one in the batch. I thought. Okay, okay so three sixty four. You still have to make. Uh, oh, um, I have to fix this one. Wait, I'm wait, so wait. Uh, hold on. Uh, um, no, no, no. Okay, hang on. Um, All right. It, you, I, I don't know if that's the line I was referring to or not, because. Appraisal uh, policies. We have appraisal policies. This is the edit to consecutively verify generates results for really appraisal policies for evidence might be obtained. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that's probably the one. Yeah. 
So we need to edit this to say the appraisal policy. Because it talks about being configured in the verifier down on 366. Okay, so that, that's that one. And then what number did I say? 378 or something, I think was the other one. Three seventy-eight. Um, the verifier checks the values of some claims against constraints specified in their appraisal policies. Three seventy-eight, something like in um, what's the oh, their line party of. In their appraisal policy, yeah, you can see in 374 red, it said it's appraisal policy, mm -hmm. and it changed to appraisal policies plural in 378 green, and I wanted that changed back to singular. At least that was my suggestion. And appraisal policy singular. And now it's it's. No, because I think it, that was okay. okay. Well, it's an it's an or. If you were to say a yeah. or b. Um, although the word checks in 377 is a singular tense, and so I think its is actually more correct. A or B checks its thing. I mean, if uh, it was a human, you might say there, but since this is not a human. It's a possessive, so it's not an apostrophe. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, single comment. Add suggestion to batch. All right, move on. I think that's it for policies. Oh. Oh, is. <laughs> yeah, apparently uh, there is, is missing there. Where? Up here? Designated... Please, please read ah. it out loud. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, yeah. A, a multi chassis router setup provides a management point that connects to the verifier and typically designated designates the, 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 the multi chassis router designated has already designated a main router in the group. That is the problem. The, the, the problem is switching of tenses. It provides so you're saying it's there it has already designated a main router i think that was the problem here right that was so it has already yeah i mean yeah i was speaking out loud uh so that's just, that, that's not also not a very good text um i, I don't know what uh, it means that this that the setup designate I, I still have a hard time parsing it inside that group there is a leader that's okay. the message. So and now we have to phrase that in a good uh, native English way. <laughs> uh, just the, the thing that designates it is not the setup, right? It's the administrator of it. So I'm trying to find a different phrasing around. Oh, that's 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 not always the case. Uh, it okay. can be elected due to, I don't know, weird editor errors or whatever. Okay, so maybe you want passive tense there, something like, uh, and typically a main router, uh, sorry, and, and typically a main router in the group is designated or something like that. Or one router is designated to be the main routers. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. Oh. I think setup is trying to say configurations. Yeah. That's how I read it. Yeah. Correct. We can also call it configuration that's more readable. Yeah. I'm, I'm agnostic to that. I think what you're trying to get at, Hank, is you're saying one router in the group is designated as being the main router. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, because we need is the there a word after the designated. Text. Okay. So then designated something. Uh, how when you get, go, go back to the word typically, and uh, I guess what I'm suggesting is typically one router in the group is designated as the main router. We can make it two sentences then even. We can remove the end. Sure, that's good too. 
one router in the group is designated as the main router. Sorry, there are phones ringing. Go away. Period. Don't care. It's getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting closer. Yeah. Well, oh, I have this configuration where if you phone my cell phone, which doesn't work in my basement because of basement, then it it forwards through SIP to my desk and my other phone and my <laughs> other phone and back to my mobile phone through IP. So everything rings at the same time. And, you know, you have to like hit hang up on all of them before it stops, which is a feature, <laughs> not a bug, but still, except <laughs> when, you know, keeps ringing. So did I get this right in the middle of the uh, Yeah, add period. And then I think, Hank, you wanted to split it into two sentences, right? Yeah, like a period after verifier, remove the N, capitalize the T. And I don't know that you need the blank line there at the end. Okay, now now I think we're, it's good for what Hank and I were talking about. Yeah, go ahead. Very good, yeah, thank you. Look, long sections where nobody had any comments. Nice. I really try to make this editorial. That does not, uh, <laughs> yeah. <really> just, uh, <laughs> yeah. Nothing to see here. Move along. <laughs> and every text has this thing with me that the first, the first third of the text is always the most uh, reviewable. That, that they have a lot of changes. And then when it gets to the body, people already know what they're talking about and <laughs> have a separate terminology, and that it's better typically. Yeah. And it's the same here. Yeah, something is, I don't know what I did there. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that one does not look editorial. Yeah, I have no idea. Let me check. This is why, uh, well, I don't know. Are they, are they separate commits? They may all be it's the bad side of both emerging. You might actually have a commit that notes why you did this. I see Thomas, you have to leave. Thanks for being here. At least for, yeah, this, uh, for the discussion of your issue. Can we do get blame here? Um, <laughs> so it looks relatively oh. relevant. I, if it would have just been one line, I would say, okay, maybe by accident, but two lines, I guess is not an accident. Uh, weirdly. Um, I, well, I don't can't know how to remember get to get why blame. I should have done this. Okay, so I'm not going to find it quick, quickly with this <laughs> not with that many lists, but it's a good idea. Um, so I'd like to see that sentence uh, restored. I guess is yeah, but I, I I I don't remember the intent, and that is bad because I I think I remember every intent here. Um, so I would be fine with reversing it, and I will come back to this so we can okay. just get this cleaned up. Yeah, uh, because I don't think I did that on purpose, but I have to reread the context and I will okay. make a mind note for myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me get back to that point. Change. Um, well, what I would like to do is, is so we're going to go through the suggestions and get back to them. There we go. Okay. Um, and so we're going to leave this comment open and we'll figure out why that happened. But let's just take mm -hmm. the time to get through the suggestions. There, okay. this looks good to me. Can generally hmm. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that was a question. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, some symmetry. Uh, I was uh, we couldn't capitalize it. Uh, the easiest thing was to just remove to add a small capital EA. I'm fine with removing it entirely. Does not change the meaning. Okay, that's me. Then remove it, please. This what? Uh, apparently, the idea here uh, that, that the multi-tenant isolation of privacy, uh, so of sensitive information, is apparently a bad uh, example. I came up for it for the because I thought it would be a good example. I'm fine with blood pressure monitor. Uh, make it a less problematic thing. Actually, I, I thought you would have might, like, make, may, might have liked it, uh, Microsoft Dave. But uh, in this case, uh, probably <laughs> I, I did not get the point, so I don't want to add uh, anything with that just here. Okay. Which applications you have installed, the, the list of which applications you have installed can be PII. Remote does include containers and applications, e.g. a blood pressure monitor may further. So that's what you're saying. Instead of uh, multi tenant architecture, you would suggest we say a blood pressure monitor. Yeah, if you're going to attest the fact that I have, you know, the following version and vendor and stuff of a blood pressure monitor, and the fact that you need one at all is a uh, is PII. PII, yeah. Even if it's actually malware. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you would think to install a blood pressure monitor, even if it's a bad one, is 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 PII. Yeah. Totally. I'm fine with that. That's same as the buff. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then, of course, a comma somewhere. Yep. That's fine. And that's just a comma. I didn't see that. And uh... remove the errant and. Yeah, you can see that that's putting it back to the red text, right? So somehow in the green, an extra and got added with nothing after it. Oops. Yeah, probably. You Maybe. Oh, have... yeah. That that's a stub. That's an interesting point. Um, I I apparently uh, lost track of my own thoughts there. Please wait, Michael. <laughs> um, yeah, there is. A, so we we are referencing DAA by a reference to DAA. There is a there is the paper from the inventors of DAA. We could also reference that, but we don't have to right here exclusively. Yeah, right here you were thinking of putting DAA in, and you didn't. Yeah, finish. I was actually. I wanted another. I wanted to add the actual core reference. I like the uh, application reference of CCC uh, a lot because it provides context. Um, but I think they don't. Does the CCC white paper refer to? Uh, Liquent's uh, 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 paper uh, that was introduced. You're asking me from memory. Um, from memory, I think it refers to an ISO document, but I can't remember. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's to the ISO TPM thing. Yeah, it does. Okay. But so I, I left this here for you, Hank. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. So that you yeah, can put thanks. the and back in. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fine. And with the right reference. And that's a typical case of Hank lost track of his own thought and did something. <laughs> the phone interrupted you while you're typing. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Uh, that's a missing comma. Brevity. Okay, Hank? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Because before it says, Confidentiality protection is vital to protect. And so I was just trying to shorten that. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the having full control over the keys really threw me. I didn't think that was important, but I'm not even sure what that meant. So. I thought that yeah, without I think, that, I, I completely get the sentence without that. I don't know what it means with it. So, so uh, did I add that? 
uh, it's all green text. text. Doesn't sound like me. Yeah, but is it also in the red text? All right, so let the... me let me explain. So yeah, the point is that like on a mobile phone, me as the owner, I might be able to report if I can fully control those attestation keys. I may be able to sign evidence that I like rather than what the relying party would like to know about how my phone hasn't been tampered with. Um, so my opinion is that the green text in my suggested change still conveys that notion. Well, the red text implies that on your phone, the user does not, it's not an if, it, it, it implies that you do have full control over the keys. And I didn't like that implication. And so I deleted that thing that might be implying you're not trying to say, Michael, um, right. but leaving the stuff that does still convey that implicitly. Yeah, fair enough. Fine. I don't think I edited it. It was there before. I just. I, think, I think you're right. Yeah. I think you may have moved it. Yeah. Um, remove uh, smart quotes. Yeah. Oh, I see. Thanks. Such as. That's yeah. not mine. That's yours. So keep keep going. Yeah, okay. The next comment. So. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. In order to establish this, um, it's just establish. Yeah, that's to establish. establish. Yeah. Yep. Over which the key is provisioned, you don't need two prepositions. Yeah. Provision okay. over and provision by. So. Yeah. No. Did you uh, add that one to batch? I don't remember. I did. I think. Okay. Cool. Um, here, because it's talking about public key cryptography and it says confidentiality is not necessary. Uh, that's true for the public key. You still can't need confidentiality of private key. So I added up public keys. So I added a dash between public and key. Either we remove that or we add it to yours. Well, public key cryptography just means you're ah. using key pairs, right? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I should read it better. I'm sorry, and do a correct. So it, your text I thought was fine. It's just <clears throat> the confidentiality yeah, is not necessarily yeah. true for half of it to be the public key half. It's not the name, but yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that I would also good. like um, that restored because I don't think that one is editorial. That's removing a technical point that's not made any place else. Yeah, and this is the second time, right? Yeah. All right. So I'll leave this uh, comment here. Yeah, leave it. Leave it open here. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's, that's a second. That's a second. Let me let me have a look at it. Just, just what, one it. part of it is still there in the green thirteen oh two, and the other part is not. So. Uh, yeah, I don't know why they did that. I, um, sorry. Yeah, it looked like you'd taken those two sentences and collapsed them into one, just down below my comment here. Um, but uh, I think that I need the some of the elaboration kept. Yeah, in all cases, I, I can't blah, blah, the blah. other one because my, my menu is over. It's good to scroll it. Thank you. In all cases, so it's basically it. this is continuing yeah, almost. It's like keeping the first sentence in 1305, right? But then it's dropping the 1306 sentence. So you can see green 1302 kind of matches 1305 red. That only the key material. Is generated by valid endorsers. Yeah, maybe I have deleted the, 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 the one three oh six. Yeah, is, is, I, I think I removed that uh, accidentally. All right, so, so I, I think one thirteen oh six should still be after the yeah. added back in right after your green yeah. sentence. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. That uh, wasn't. Okay, I want to do that. I want to do that afterwards. Yep. Yep. Sounds good. Um, okay. Sorry. Oops. Uh, I'm, I'm unable to think of. <laughs> okay. I, yeah. I don't. That's bad. Yeah. Security protected conveyed information. That's really. That's hard German. To <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Michael. I think that is my. I, I didn't really glean the sense, so that was also Gear was quoting it. Totally happy with that. So I would um, uh, undo the change in uh, the f beginning of the sentence and uh, the line here. Yeah. 
Can I make a and, suggestion for the text here? Sure. Sure. Just say it, information conveyed in rats. You don't have to go into security protector. You're going to do that anyway. Huh. I have I don't have a problem with that. Dave, Michael, I, I feel like you guys are being redundant otherwise, and it's twisting you in knots. Um, what what is the subject of what, what's the thing that's being applied? Information conveyed in rats may be applied at different layers. Uh, uh, are you, so you're no, saying that, security are you're saying security protections? The, the security could be applied at different layers. The information is still is still Sorry, conveyed. So it's the security protections, not information. Excuse me. Correct. Oh, what is the result then? It should be security protections. I think in rats. I don't think you have to worry about conveyed. That is an absolutely different meaning. Actually, this reads a little bit better to me, and I'll tell you because mm -hmm. you have both proto when you say conveyance, that 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 sounds a lot like protocol. It right? is yeah. rather than information encoding. Yes, exactly. So now thank you so lot because I did not get the content of the sentence <laughs> until now. That's why I kind of made it burst. Can you see the original? <laughs> Uh, I really like Elliot's version here. I want to look at the green to make sure here. Okay, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I, I, Elliot's correct. This is good. Yeah. By the way, while I have the floor, I'll just add a comment about the security consideration section. I think it could go with it, it could do with a chapeau. Um, in, because we're not talking about a protocol here. And so what you guys are really describing are, I think, are security requirements of the protocols involved with rats. Am I wrong? You're not wrong. Okay, I think probably we should just say that. Because it's not like your classic security protocols, specification, security considerations. I mean, in some sense, some of them are requirements for protocols. Other ones might be requirements for things that you don't know in a protocol. There are things you might be doing in, you know, the setting that might not be protocol. They might be, you know, do it in a physically secure facility. Your so. architectural requirement, their security requirements yeah. for architecture. For solutions, yeah, solutions which involve protocols and Im protocols and implementations and processes. Yeah. And, and finally, while I have the floor, I did just do a, a, a force push on the on the other cool. text and. People should look at it at their convenience. Thanks, Elliot. Yours for simplicity. We have to redo the batch. I wonder if these are ones that never got added to the batch. I don't know. Michael's being very quiet. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I was mute talking to mute. Um, sorry, it read it. It told me that I it, it, that 
it was out of date and I had to hit refresh and then it undid oh. all my all my <laughs> my batch. Um, so that's I guess another reason not to make the batch very big. Um, I just hope I remember the ones we said we weren't going to put in because I think they don't have text. Which 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 uh which pull request was it, Elliot? You did this. You just pushed something on the other one you were working on the uh, the one with the abstract, etc. That's what you're talking about. Yeah. I think that's probably for next week. Yeah, I think so. Anyway. Um... Yeah, it's like two, two, might, missed, two minutes. I'm going to commit this. Uh, okay, so um, I was just going to pull yours up just for the fun of it, Elliot. Just for one minute. Okay, so you've now moved it into the introduction here. And you've reworked the uh, the abstract as well. Yes, I, cool. I thought All both right. could so, use a little touch up. Yeah. So okay. let's, let's take a good look at this. And uh, I, I think it's probably fine, but let's take a good look at this. And either, let's, uh, let's do it next week. I know there's people that have to drop. It's about one minute to the hour. We just lost Thomas, and I have to leave home early. Okay, yep. wonderful. Thank you very much. Bye, everyone. All right, thanks. Thank you.